name is Jessica Gron, and I'm an assistant professor at the Brain and Mind Institute and the Department of Psychology at Western University. My main area of research is in rhythm perception and why it is that rhythm makes us move. So I use brain imaging techniques to look at the response in our brains when we're listening to music and to rhythm. And it turns out that when we're listening to rhythm, even when we're staying perfectly still, we get a very large response in areas that control movement. So there seems to be something very important in the brain that relates movement and rhythm. The brain is all about you. you know, how do you work? How do you function? Um, so I looked for places as an undergraduate where I could study both things because I didn't know which one I wanted to do forever. And at the end of that, I realized it's a lot easier to be an amateur musician than an amateur scientist. So I decided to go into science. And at the time, I hadn't really thought about studying music and the brain. I thought I would study the brain at a more low level way, looking at the cells and the proteins. But it turned out the first couple um, experiences I got in research with cells and proteins, I wasn't very interested in them. So I realized that um, if I was going to do this for a career, it should be something I was really excited about. And around that time, more and more research started to be published on music in the brain and how music affects the brain. So I started leaning more in that direction. Uh, and then I found a PhD supervisor who was equally interested in this. And so we ended up combining my interest in rhythm, particularly music, and um, in neuroscience. So my most recent study, I was really interested in whether we can visually perceive beats. Most of the time when we think about rhythm and tapping a, a foot to the beat, it's about an auditory beat, something we're listening to. But no one had really looked to see if we could do this with visual stimuli. Um, so I thought I would test it. And first we just tried flashing squares that would flicker on and off. And it turns out people are really terrible at getting the beat from those stimuli. It's very difficult. However, if you give them something that moves, and we used a rotating line that looked a bit like the second hand on a clock, you know, click around from position to position. And when it clicked around in a steady way that gave a sense of beat, people could really see that there was a beat in the rhythm. So this suggests that even though we prefer to get the beat when we're hearing stimuli, we can actually do it when we're watching them if they're the right kind of stimuli. The main message from my research so far is that music moves us through rhythm. The reason that music and dance are so closely related is because of the rhythm. And when we're listening to rhythm, we're really activating movement areas in the brain, whether we're choosing to move or not.